Hey everybody. That about sums up how I'm feeling right now. I don't even know where to start. You ever have one of those days where just everything just seems to be sticking its fist up you? That the day is fisting you? I'm being fisted right now by my day. And it wasn't like the whole day's been going wrong. It just seems like the last 30 minutes. Even trying to film this video, I like pinched the hell out of my finger trying to set up my friggin' camera on the tripod, dropping my pipe tampers. I said, screw it. I need to just have a break. So I busted out the Jake Hackert, filled it with some Mississippi River, drinking what I normally don't drink, which is a Guinness. Oh, sweet nectar. Oh, that's good. So what's going on, you might ask? Well, the main thing on my mind is, as many of you know from one of my recent videos, I have uh, my own business, and my company ships internationally, worldwide, to, you know, you name it, we ship it there. And um, normally we don't have a problem, but it just seems like for some fargan reason, I'm trying to watch my language, within the last maybe two weeks, we're getting chargeback after chargeback after chargeback. If you don't know what a chargeback is, it's where somebody uses a credit card to purchase something from you, you ship it to them, and then they contact their credit card company and say they never authorized it. And the credit card company takes the money back from you and then also penalizes you. Now when you're an online business, this is something you're used to and this happens you know we've had chargebacks you know for the last eight years but for some reason the last two weeks I've seen more chargebacks uh, and I'm not just talking about you know fifty dollars a hundred dollars I think I've lost almost like $2,000 in the last couple weeks because of the chargeback problem. And usually there's some telltale signs when you know something's fraudulent. For example, we get an order that says it's placed by John Doe in California, but it's shipping to Vietnam via express mail. When stuff like that happens, that's pretty obvious. It's That's not where we were getting nailed. It seems like, whatever reason, these last couple weeks, there was a lot of things that just didn't raise any red flags. And it's partly my fault because I'm the one that approves, uh, you know, what ships and what doesn't. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm just... You know, the first couple of chargebacks that came through, I was just like, you son of a bitch. You're like, I don't, I don't believe this. But they just keep coming and coming. Today I just got another one. And it's like, oh my God, this one was for like $400. So, 
what what really sucks is it punishes everybody else who's not up to no good. So now, if, even if you're a legitimate person that wants to buy something, you're going to have to go through extra security measures and show proof of of being in possession of your credit card and all that kind of stuff. Stuff that I normally didn't do before, but now because of some idiots, um, I have to do that uh, to protect myself and protect my company and and uh, and ultimately protect the customers and their information you know someone steals your credit card and tries to buy something from me I'm protecting you because now I'm requiring that they can verify that they're who they say they are so anyway I don't mean to burden you guys too much with that but as many of you know uh, this is a community and, uh, and sometimes I like to vent as as much as the next guy and usually what helps me to vent besides a pipe is a box opening. And I have just the thing. Um, a few, well, gosh, it's probably about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, um, I posted a video about the most embarrassing drinking experience I've ever had. If you've never seen it, I'm going to put a link to it in the description of this video um, I highly suggest you watch it to know what not to do if you were in a situation like I was in it's pretty funny very embarrassing but it won me some tobacco so this is from uh, another YouTube pipe presenter named Kurt Keener he sent me this I don't know what it is I have no idea so I'm just gonna open it right now All right. Let me see. It's a note that he wrote. Hey, Jeff. Thanks for entering my contest, and congratulations. These are a uh, couple of my favorite blends from my local tobacconist. <coughs> Excuse me. The one without a label is a gingerbread mixed with vanilla. Um, I can't read that word. And the Baker Street, I've not tried, but heard it was good. They were out of my favorite English blend. Thanks. <coughs> Thanks again. Your story was freaking hilarious, Kirk. Thanks a lot, Kirk. And uh, inside, we have some tobacco. Mmm. Those smell pretty good, Kirk. I'm going to have to try those out. Thank you so much. It, uh, it helped make my otherwise very pissed off evening a little less pissed off. Uh, I'm going to continue enjoying my, uh, my pipe, my beer, and um, watching some of your YouTube videos. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.